their age, their nationality, and the right and the like. There is no mention about school leaving certificates. If you are a Sierra Leonean, you should have a birth certificate or you should have an identity card. If you don't have those, you go to the NCRA who can register you and confirm that you are a Sierra Leonean because the basis of registration is to capture the Sierra Leoneans who are qualified to register. So there is no reference to school leaving certificates or the year of entry into school to determine your age. We have also, as I mentioned, we have seen attempts by people to register based on confirmation by either chief, imam, or council members. We agree there is a law for that, but you cannot tell me if you are a chief, you know the ages of people, over 10 or 20 people, that every day you will go and certify that these people were born on these days. Probably even those in your homes, you cannot tell me the exact day they were born. And then you are going to certify people over 10 or 15 within a day that these people were born on these days. And we want to protect the integrity of the system, so therefore we have put controls in place to ensure that we will not misuse the provisions in the electoral laws in order to accommodate underage people. So this has been going on across the country, not specific to a particular area, and therefore we have sent out a clear message to our staff how to attend to those issues. We are not going to accommodate any chief or imam or council or counselor to come forward and say, 20 people I know all their age of, death, age of birth. No way, we are not going to accommodate that. The second question is the, the total number we anticipate. The current population data we have for the voter expected registration based on the data we collected is about 3.5 to 3.7 million people. That's a record we have obtained from the civil registration data. But we have to remember this record were confirmed about a year or two ago by NCRA. And we also have to remember some of the registrants in the record were registered over five years ago for the 2018 elections. And therefore, the possibility exists that the number we have captured might not be the actual number that we be, will be registering. Therefore, we have called on everybody to present themselves and those numbers that we capture will be the actual figure that will come out as a provisional result. But at the moment, our target, the number we have captured is about 3.7. We have also looked at the trend of the, the, the three days registration. And we are talking about across the country, average of 60 per day. Some areas, they are recording over 100. Some areas are recording very close to 100. But when you take the average of the report we have received, we are looking at 60 per day. And if you multiply that by the number of centers open by the number of days, if that's a trend, then we'll be able to estimate the total number expected. However, I want the public to note that it is possible because of the rush in this first phase, we might not have the same average on the second phase of the registration. But for the purposes of planning, and understanding the trend, we have used the three days voter registration to determine the average across the country, which presently stands as, as yesterday stands at 60 per registration center per day. The question of more, more time, it is provided for in the act, but we are not prepared to tell the public that we are going to extend. However, we are noting, because of the initial constraints, some areas were not open on time for one or two days. So therefore, when we have collected the data, we will see that the Commission will discuss and determine the need for any extension or thereof. Yeah, I think I've answered. Yes, no.